we now have thunderbolts, which is a completely different, you know, tone, texture, everything. This to me felt more of like a Guardians of the Galaxy or even the original Avengers kind of feel to it. So what were your thoughts on that? I I got a little bit of a vibe with Guardians of the Galaxy because of like the the the, the humor. Uh, but mm-hmm. I honestly got more so of more of a vibe of Suicide Squad. Um, huh? That was like because the humor was kind of the same as well. Uh, not Sorry. It, not only was the humor felt like Suicide Squad, but also the presentation. It was kind of like, you know, this villain is meeting that mm. villain, meet that villain. And then you kind of see like the big the big name of, you know, you see ghosts and then you see uh, the Black Widow, the Red Guardian, all that stuff. So it's just like the 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 whole pop up of the names and everything and the graphics and the the way it was all presented. Yeah, there you go. Taskmaster. It it it, it was it, and Bob. Oh, God, I, I we need to talk about that at some point. Um, but. I that's what I got, and it's not a bad thing. Um, I still enjoyed this trailer very much, especially more so than the first one because the first one was very boring and cookie cutter to me. Um, uh-huh. so this one came off a lot more like MCU's just trying to have a bit more fun now. Ooh, I agree. This uh, it reminded me of like the old school, let's have fun. You know, it it nothing really seemed original in terms of we've seen this multiple times before. You brought up Suicide Squad, even with the Suicide Squad, um, going back all with Guardians of the Galaxy and every other movie before. Of uh, you know, ragtag group of people who don't like each other. Mm-hmm. Now we're a team mm-hmm. brought together by their leader, who they all hate. <laughs> you know, and everyone's just kind of miserable being in the same room with each other, except for Bob. Bob is like, hey. I'm Bob. <laughs> um, no attitude whatsoever with, with Mr. Bob. But yeah, um, so I, I kind of got that, but it just, it kind of just felt more fun than anything. Um, it played up on the same emotions that we've known before from the MCU with, you know, broken characters and sad backstories. You know, Yelena, we had her story of her being a part of the Russian um situation ship we know bucky and his ptsd which is interesting that they showed this so i'm wondering do you think we will get an impasse of both bucky and falcon original falcon so our captain america now um basically going their separate ways or do you think that will just be something off screen you mean like in 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 one of the movies in one of the movies, because the way how, from my understanding, it's been a while, mm-hmm. Falcon and Winter Soldier kind of ended with Bucky's really happy. Mm-hmm. He's, he's crushing on Falcon's sister. Falcon mm-hmm. is upset about that. He never did get his loan. But everyone is just kind of living together okay. You know, he smiles at the end. Yeah. Um, I... <sighs> That's a good point because from the trailers, it we don't know what happened to Bucky after that. So I, I hope they kind of fill in that gap of like why is he why is, is he back to being a mercenary? Is he being brainwashed again? Uh, is he doing this on his own accord? Like I we we don't know what's going on. So I I would hope maybe they'll do a little bit of a I damn it, it's it's hard because <coughs> excuse me. So they have a lot of characters. A lot of these characters will have to have character development. And when you have too many of these characters, some of them are going to be left on the wayside more so than others. So I'm hoping they don't lose sight of Bucky because I think Bucky is a fan favorite for a lot of people. And they kind of fill in those gaps between uh, 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 Thunderbolts and and Falcon and Winter Soldier show. Um so I I don't I don't think they're really gonna touch on that that much. I I think they're just gonna. I hope they just fill in the gap of just like, all right, I'm gonna go do my own thing. I guess you know I'm still meant to be a mercenary, so that's what I'm gonna do, kind of thing. I don't know. Well, here here's the thing that you can argue. We know everyone's backstory except for Taskmaster, Master, Ghost, and Bob. Who's well, we do. 
we we kind of definitely not Bob, but uh, we do with Taskmaster because she was involved in the Black Widow movie. Um, oh, that was that was that villain, uh, and then I, Ghost Ghost was in the second Ant Ant Man. Ghost was the villain for the second Ant Man, so we know her backstory as well. Oh, the way how my brain is not bringing. <laughs> so then Bob. So we can fill out more. So really, it was just more of filling out more of Taskmaster, Ghost, and then just giving us who the heck Bob is, who is basically Superman. But here's the problem, though. The problem with that, and uh, yes, like they'll have to fill in those gaps. But like, I feel like that movie will mostly focus on Red Guardian, Black Widow, and Bucky, and hopefully, me personally, my. For those people who don't know, Bob is the Sentry. He is my favorite, mm -hmm. favorite character in all of Marvel, um, and he is yet to be done, you know, uh, 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 done justice. Because in the comics, they killed him off probably about three or four times. He, he's never had his own comic run, but he's still my goddamn. He's still my. He's still my favorite. So I, I, I hope they do him justice. But um, to go to my point was that Ghost and Taskmaster they weren't very well received. Uh, uh, villains in their in their respective movies, like they were just like meh, and and people hated Taskmaster actually for especially the comic book fans because this was nothing like the Taskmaster in the comics. So I feel like mm -hmm. this movie is not gonna is still not gonna do them justice. And if anyone dies, it'll probably be one of them. Oh, getting death already? <laughs> we just got introduced to them. That's you my that's kill. my guess. They they, or, they just they're not important characters. You could pull a James Gunn. And remember when everyone was like, this is the suicide squad, and then they're all dead. <laughs> and it's like, nah, this is actually the suicide squad. That was yeah. a big like plot twist. That was, it was I was great. like, that was in was like the first five minutes of the movie. Mm -hmm. Which is I'm dying. And what was crazy, the press tour was like, oh, we're interviewing them like they're the actual thing. And they're yep. just going on with it. It's like, you guys die in the first three minutes. What is going on? It's terrible. But um, one of the big things that happened with this trailer that kind of made me excited is we kind of know what happened to the Avengers Tower. Mm -hmm. Yay! Um, the Avengers Tower is back, renovated after decades of abuse and fights. And, and being blown up and destroyed. I forgot in which movie, but it was essentially, it was when, what, I forgot which movie. Was it Ultron that did it? Cause I know he did it some, but there was yeah. one that completely eviscerated Avengers Tower. I'm old. <coughs> I think it was Ultron, I can't remember. I think it was Ultron, but we get, we get that Valentina is basically the owner of Avengers Tower which, you know, looks very lovely. It just, she stated it costs a lot of money. Um, and and so she is the one, for me, what I assumed is when it starts out when they're on that convoy and when the convoys are chasing them and they're in like that desert area and you, we see that it's Bucky that saves the day, but then it's Bucky that also attacks them. He mm -hmm. doesn't seem like he's controlled at all. I think that's gone because remember the conversation that he had with Shuri to kind of bring his brain back to being unwashed. Right. Remember yeah. that time that he spent in Wakanda was very important. He was the White Wolf member. Yeah. White Wolf. I wonder, one, will we see White Wolf? Is because you read the comics, is that persona different or is it just a name? Um, from what I can remember, I think it's just a name. He still, he still was very much a conflicted person who still, you know, he'd do bad things, but he didn't mean to do bad things, and he's trying to be a good person, uh, especially during that time, his, his own Captain America run. Um, so I, I, from what I can remember, I, I'm pretty sure it's just a name. But that oh, a name a name that he he has to live up to though. Oh well, he could kind of like try to take on that persona. Yeah. Because they do introduce him as Bucky, but then remember there is that conversation that like Yelena has, where she's basically saying, you know, we're all broken people. We're trying to have a purpose. 
We don't have no purpose in life. So maybe them being this ragtag team gives them that purpose. And remember, they're all kind of broken. They've been used. They've been brainwashed. So there you go there. And, and, and again, Bucky never seemed to be brainwashed. He knew exactly what he was doing. We just don't know why Bucky is working with Valentina. We definitely know why John Walker is. And that should be interesting. I think he's a father in this one. So that should be, well, I think he was a father in, in Falcon. Well, he was definitely a father in this. Here, 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 here's my, here's my guess. Um, I don't know if you noticed this, but uh, we got Bucky, we got red, uh, the red um, soldier dude, um, the red, guard. red guardian. We have Bob and we have uh, Yelena. Yelena. And mm -hmm. I think that's I think that's it. I guess you could count Taskmaster no. as well. So no, five, because yeah. I, I I don't know I don't know about Ghost's storyline. So five mm -hmm. out of these five of these characters, they have one mm -hmm. common. Oh, and John Walker and and him actually, they have mm -hmm. a common thing, um, which is uh, the Super Soldier Serum. They all have different variants of the super soldier serum so i feel like bucky oh. has some sort of incentive to working with um uh valentina because this probably involves the serum in some sort of way and that's oh. also the motivations for a lot of these other people like they want to be stronger or they want to be famous or they maybe they want to get rid of it i don't know um, but I'll, all of these guys here, and I can't account for Ghost because I, I can't remember her backstory, but I, I don't think so. But they're, they're all related in some way with the super soldier serum. Okay. So it's former super soldiers in the serums. That should be interesting. And then, it, but you see, it also carries on with the whole uh, Brave New World because they're all yeah. super soldiered up. So that and it's more than just Bradley who's attacking everyone. It's all of the former soldiers as well. So mm. This should be really interesting. I wonder if they do connect, but it it, it looks interesting. Um, is there anything else that did you want to mention when it came to um, this one? Um. Uh. <clears throat> so I mean, we talked about our first impressions on it. The action looks really good. Um, uh, I, I feel like they revealed a little bit too much. And I think the only thing that yeah. I worry about, it still looks like a fun movie, but what I worry about the most is um, them doing the century justice uh, and specifically even Bob, because so far we've only, we've seen Bob twice in, in, in both trailers, but we have not seen the century. So one that worries me because Marvel can be quick to show Marvel can be quick to show the Red Hulk so they can start selling tickets, but you don't want to see, you don't want to show the Sentry. And the Sentry is a big deal for a lot of people, uh, you know, specifically the fans. Um, so for us to see Bob twice, and then the way they introduce Bob in this second trailer, it's very comical. So I'm actually very worried that he's just going to be a, com a, a comedic character, which is not. Mm -hmm his character at all in the comics so maybe i'm hoping also maybe the bob maybe that bob will be sort of comedic but the sentry won't be um i i don't know so that that is what worries me so the fact that they haven't shown the sentry yet the way they presented bob um but the rest of the movie looks fun i got the feeling of remember in um the last guardians movie I think it was Adam that was introduced, the golden one. Adam Warlock, yes. Adam Warlock. They play that very comedic, and that is not the character. I got the same vibes. So yeah. I'm just con But here's, I don't know. So Century is basically kind of like Marvel's Superman, right? Mm hmm Do you think that they changed the persona because DC is having their superman movie no uh, the the century is still a very different character from superman mm -hmm. uh the especially personality wise superman has always been the the good old boy scout 
kind of, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I mean, sure, you can call him cookie cutter, but he was like the original. So he's like, everything else is cookie cutter from Superman. Um, right. so, but uh, um, the century is more of a dark psychological mental character I, I, I don't like I don't want to say too much in case they want to go deep into him but like in in in, in, a, in another movie or in the movie itself but like he he's he's a he, he's a drug addict let's just put it that way he's a drug addict uh he has another side to him that is very very dangerous uh in the comics uh and I hope they kind of hint at that at some point because that other side to him can it can rival the Hulk, put it this way. Um, so, personality-wise, and and I, uh, it's he's he's very different from, from Superman. So I, I don't I don't think that that they're worried about that. I think maybe they're just playing it safe because I, if you make a in the movie specifically, if you make a character too overpowered, then there's no challenge for the for the characters. And I think that was an issue that we've had for a long time with Superman movies and, and, and actually even video games for that matter. Like Superman is just too damn powerful that everything seems easy to him. So you have to be very cautious with someone like the Sentry. Ooh. So then do you feel that Bob is just the persona that keeps Sentry at bay and then therefore something has to trigger him? To be century? That or he just doesn't know he's a century yet. Like we're, I get a feeling also that he's probably not going to turn into like this ultra buff, powerful, long haired blonde man um, until the end of the movie. Like he's going to okay. be like, uh, he he's not, not what's the term? Not MacGuffin. Um, he, he's going to be the, the the ex machina of 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 the end of the movie he's gonna he's probably gonna save everyone because he released his inert powers and he becomes the sentry for like five minutes and then that's it and i'm gonna hate it if that happens that troubles me because we've seen that before and they never followed up yeah at all oh no i'm sad for the movie oh well <laughs> that's just 